we have to discuss about the side determination and the attachments of this bone for side determination we should understand the lateral and the medial part of this bone the lateral and the medial part of this bone can be understood with the help of this posterior surface on the posterior surface we have this vertical ridge this vertical ridge is dividing the bone into large lateral facet and the small medial one when we keep this bone on the table like this it will rest on the lateral side so suppose this i am keeping the apex is directed downwards so it is directed away from you and it is kept on the table like this so it will rest on the lateral side because the lateral facet is larger one that is why it is resting on the lateral side so this determines the side of this bone so it is resting on the right side of my right side so this is the right sided patella then for the attachments we have marked the attachments of this bone these all are the insertions these are the insertions of quadriceps femoris as we have discussed this is the sesamoid bone which develops within the tendon of quadriceps femoris so here we can see this is the base that is the superior border of the bone on the anterior aspect we have the insertion of rectus femoris muscle behind that we have the insertion of vastus medialis muscle then this is the lateral border the upper one third part of this lateral border gives insertion to the vastus lateralis and this is the medial border of this bone the upper two third part of this medial border gives attachment to that is the insertion of vastus medialis then this is the apex apex in the rough posterior part gives attachment to the ligamentum patelli that is the common tendon of the quadriceps femoris muscle so these are the attachments of this bone thank you